Basketball wise, oh, I'm looking rough. It's fine. Y'all like it. Ow. Child, this light got me looking real powdery. Come on, Latoya Jackson. Yes, indeed. But anyway, um, so yeah, basketball wise. Let's get into it. You know, I'm really tired of seeing Vanessa's bangs. I don't know who told her that was a good look for her, but take it back. I want you to get them. I want you to stump them. I don't believe in violence, but sometimes that's the only answer. Um, the bangs are the fool. They're the fool. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, her and Evelyn are back cool for now. And uh, so, yeah. Oh, let me see. We see uh, Brooke, Jen, and Evelyn. They sit down talking. Um you know, Jennifer, she just got, uh, Evelyn, she just got back from her daughter's um, birthday. And so she wanted to get the tea on what happened. You know, they had got into it at uh, Britney's ski event. Um, Brooke versus Clayana and Britney versus Brooke. No, Brooke versus Britney and then Clayana versus Jen. It was just a whole lot of mess. Um Brittany was straight up wrong. She was drunk as a cooter brown, drunk as a skunk. She was mad at her baby daddy for um, the things that he just, him just being petty towards her mom and stuff. So she decided to drink and act a fool. And um, yeah. Um, and then Clayana, she's very defensive and aggressive uh, for no reason. She's feeling some kind of way. She's feeling a little intimidated. Jen asked her, she didn't ask her in a mean way, like, who are you? Whose friend are you? Da, 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 da. Um, she didn't ask her in a nasty kind of way, but she took it that way because, you know, she was feeling intimidated, I'm sure. And um, the person, the people that know her, I guess, was um, Evelyn and Shawnee. And neither one of those people was there because Jackie doesn't know this child. She didn't know Crayola. Crayola just walked up to the table and sat down. It was just like, oh, yeah, I'm with um, Shawnee's table. Girl, who is you? That thing about crazy. So, yeah. So, they was telling Evelyn that and stuff. And um, Evelyn's dude, LaVon, is, I think his name is LaVon. He's um, coming into town. And, and you know, she's going to meet up with him and stuff. And yada, yada. Um, Evelyn has really bad anxiety about getting married again because of how her first marriage went. Um, and every other relationship she done been in went. Um, and so she's scared to marry this dude. Plus, she met him on TV. And you really don't know nobody. You know, they've been together a few months. They're already engaged and all this. It's just a lot. I mean, we saw what happened to Tamar Braxton, who was on the same show as Evelyn. And how that man did her. So, I mean, you just don't know. And she has anxiety and scared about it. I just don't think Evelyn's into that man. I think Evelyn has a type. Evelyn likes athletes. Evelyn, Evelyn likes boys that's a little bit on the edge, that, you know, a little bit bad or whatever. Got a little, you know, spicy reputation a little bit. And um, he is just this LeVon guy. He's I think he's super good, a good man, I'm sure. Um, but Evelyn is a bad gal. And so, you know, I don't know. Can he tame her? I don't know. Evelyn have gotten old, so maybe she wants to change her life around finally. But... I mean, hell, if, after you know, did everything, I mean, hell, it's, it would be time. But I don't know. I just don't think Evelyn's into him. But we'll see what their relationship goes. I don't think they're going to get married, but we're going to hope for the best, darlings. Um, Giselle. Giselle, she is putting, who I love. I love Giselle. Giselle is putting together this um, party for her fiance. Um, and when she's inviting all the girls and, you know, she's super excited about it. And stuff. She met up with Brittany and uh, Vanessa and stuff and picking out flower arrangements. Uh, Brittany said she was going to be able, unable to come, etc. So, you know, we're going to pray for the best and yada, city yada. What is Jen doing? Child Jen is out there. She's um, she's trying to find another dog. You know, her little teacup poodle. Was it a poodle? Chihuahua? I don't know what it was. What That little dog that she used to carry. Um, Logia um kicked the bucket and um she's trying to replace the dog. She already has her mindset on a little teacup, little bitty tiny dog with this grown man. I mean listen, it's cute. 
it's cute, it's fine, whatever, Jennifer, but you're a big lady and, and your man is, is a big dude and y'all are good and grown and you're a growner and you just want this little dog you can carry around in your purse, girl. It's just like, she's really still trying to be the black Paris Hilton. It's like, let it go, girl. Um, but she says she don't want no big old dog and I'm sure he probably wants a pit bull or something. Um, and so, yeah. I don't know what kind of compromise, but they said that they made a down payment on a dog. And so we're going to see what kind of dog it ended up being. But that man did not want no little poodle child. It's just, I mean, you know, how he going to walk around the hood with that little teacup poodle girl? I mean, child. So, um, anyway, what else is going on? Um, Brooke met up with Jackie. Brooke gave Jackie a, a booklet of her daughter. Um, you know, she calls it a booklet, but it's, it's her daughter's, you know, obituary and stuff. It was beautiful. And what a beautiful girl Brooke's daughter was. And Brooke is obviously a beautiful woman, but just so pretty. I was looking at pictures of her online. I was like, what a beautiful girl. Really um, unfortunate what happened to Brooke. Um, and, you know, what happened to Brooke's daughter. And uh, we're just praying for Brooke, Brooke every day. You know, Jackie and Brooke, it fell out mainly because Brooke felt like Jackie was not there for her during the time of her daughter's passing. And um, so, you know, it's nice to see them come back together and make a moment. I do hope it lasts. I do. Um, God bless Brooke. That is something that she's never going to get over for the rest of her life. You know, she, she's going to go on and, and, you know, live her life. But... It's, I'm sure it's something that she's going to think about every day. That is a lot. And I don't want to get choked up thinking about it. So we're going to move on. Praying for you, bro. Anyway. Ooh, um, so let me see. What else is happening? Child, Cleophis. Cleophis met up with Jennifer Williams' child. That thing is crazy. You hear me? Sat down with her. Cleophis was just like, oh, well, um... I'm just trying to figure out, like, um, what's going on and how did you feel like you were coming for me, Jennifer? I did not come for you. I did not mean to do that. You took it that way. I was not trying to come for you. I was just trying to understand where you were coming from. And Cleophis, she didn't want to hear that. She was just like, so who are you? Where are you coming from? Who are you married to? Do you got any kids? It just, just kept going on and on. And Jennifer was just like, girl, what is going on? Am I in the twilight zone? When she started offending Jennifer, calling her names, and then Jennifer um, ended up getting up and walking off. And then here come Clementine following behind Jennifer, following her. It was very Nene and Sheree. Um, <laughs> oh, if, if you were rich, you get your mouth, your teeth fixed. They're done. They're done. You know, depositing Trump checks. Y'all remember that scene from the Housewives of Atlanta? But, um, it was very that. But I'm just like, who follows people? I'm walking away from a fight. I'm walking away from an argument. You're going to follow me. Oh, so now you're bullying me. Okay. And she knows who, who to do that to. Everybody knows Jennifer does not fight. We know that. God knows that. And, um, you know, so Jennifer turned around to confront her after Cleophis was following behind her. And don't you know Clementine pushed that girl pushed Jennifer. Girl, you better get out of my face. You walked in her face, you psycho. This girl is crazy. I like that green though that she had on. Um, Clayana, that was pretty. That green dress, whatever it was that she had on. I like that. But um, Cleo, you are crazy. You are crazy, girl. Child, Jennifer met up with Giselle. She was just like, look. Look. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do about your party, but if if um uh Claudette is coming, then I'm not coming. If Claudette coming, I'm not coming. Claudine, mm -mm. she was just like, what's going on, friend? And then Jennifer told her, she was like, child, I just don't know what to do. Y'all just some gutter snipes. We shoot to um the party. Giselle looks so cute in her little outfit, her little Scottish schoolgirl, black and white, little pencil skirt, clueless moment with the hair, and uh, she had the ponytails, the little ponytails, like a um, 
like a, what do you call it, a booty, like in a, in a pool. It was, I don't know the proper name for it, but it was cute. Giselle really styles herself really cute. Um, and I just like her. I love her um, accent. I love her down-homeness. I love her realness. Uh, she's talented. She's pretty. Um, she's funny. And I just like her. I think they did a really good job of casting Giselle on the show. Them other ones, like I said, bye. But definitely keep Giselle. Um... Anyway, um, maybe keep Vanessa too, cause Vanessa keeps the mess. Vanessa's a fool. Vanessa, somebody gonna chop that bang right on off. You keep playing with somebody while you sleep, sis. They gonna be like, cause we sick of you, girl. Um, but anyway, and she was just like, Lord Jesus. So anyway, we get to the function. Brooke looked great. Um, that is a beautiful woman, Brooke Bailey. Um, yeah, and then that's when Giselle revealed that uh, Brittany wasn't already going, but she uninvited Clayana because she didn't want no mess and you can't be putting your hands on people. I felt like she did the right thing. Giselle is also playing chess. She also knows what team to get on. I can get more things done on this show if I link with a Jennifer versus... Um, uh, uh, Clarentine. Um, so, yeah. So, um, Clarentine was just sent back, just mad and upset. You did it, girl. What is you doing? Coming up on somebody. Girl, she was literally sitting there apologizing to you. You still didn't. Uh, you know, these new folks on these reality shows, they watch old reality show formulas and think it's going to work in 2023 and it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work. You coming on there trying to come for one of the main cast members. You know, it's just, it's not going to work. Regardless of how we feel about Jennifer, the fan base is going to have Jennifer back over you. Um, Clorox. We won't even know you. So anyway, um, like I said, we get to the function. We meet um, Natasha, which is Giselle's girlfriend. I think she's adorable. Um, we see all the other WNBA players come in. They're all pretty and tall. Um, you know, Brooke sitting there looking around like, where the men at? I'm like, girl, not here. <laughs> I was like, child, it's not a sausage party, mama. So, um, you know, uh, they're sitting around talking. At one point, Jennifer got up and, this, and Evelyn went to go sit near Jennifer's dude. And um, all of a sudden, we see Jackie, and then Jackie makes a joke. Oh, I'm going to sit on your lap, talking about him. Jackie, if you don't go find Doug somewhere and go fish it with him. Now, Jackie, you're doing too much. You and Jennifer just got back cool. Let's get ready to go down that quick. It is. It ain't going to last long, Jennifer and Jackie. Um, Let me see. And then Evelyn, she just talked about how... Um, how she's she's unsure about getting married again. Anything else happened in that scene? Not really. It was it was a nice scene. It was quick. Um, it was actually a classy scene. There was no drama in that scene actually. But next episode, child, we see Vanessa getting investigating um, Jennifer's um, nephew that she with. Talking about. Um, I found out that he just got out of jail. Da, 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 da. I'm like, whatever. Oh, one thing he did say that I found interesting at the event where he was just like, oh, I have one baby that's two and a half and one baby that's one and a half. They 12 months apart. So where is the mother's, um, Jennifer? Like, have you checked into who really this little boy is? I mean, for real, for real. We know he cute. You know, he got a little swag on him, whatever. But... Uh, <laughs> You do your do and you get your exam, but then you send them back on their way with some fruit loops and uh some hot pockets and say, All right, well I hit you back up maybe sooner or later. You you don't you don't marry the person. So I mean, is this that what's going on, Jennifer? What's going on? Cause Vanessa is a lot. She jump into stuff that ain't got nothing to do with her, but it is weird. That he got kids that young and we just, I mean, you know, it's not weird, but y'all know what I mean. It's just, 
<laughs> when it looks too good to be true, it usually is. Uh, I just think that Jennifer is smitten right now. And, you know, she got her little young tenderoni and, and she is not paying attention to certain stuff. We all know Jennifer Day in history, child. Lord have mercy. So, I mean, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know, Jen, but you just watch your back, sis. That's all I got to say. Um, Hopefully, he's a good dude. Anything else happened? I don't think nothing else happened, y'all. With that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Eskins on Instagram and Twitter at Eskins on Snapchat. Chess King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal and TikTok. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.